Hey, goedemorgen, Mr. Dutch. Long time no see. How are you doing? Everything is set up. So good morning everybody. This is the first time I'm streaming to YouTube as well. Uh, I guess it's working. Restream says it is okay. Uh, Alright. Uh, let's quickly get a yeah let's get some water and get started be right back Waking up to get to work with coffee. Nice. Yeah, I'm waiting a few more hours with coffee, I think. Uh, but I don't get to where to find live streams on YouTube for creative stuff. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Um. I don't like this track. Cool. So, uh, last stream. Last stream I created these, uh, these tiles. And I'm just going to make a retopo for that. So what I will do is just um, start with a plane. Not going to do anything fancy here. I hope you're doing well. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm just tracing this uh, this shape now. other Hey, John. John Sutton's found it. Oh, you are uh, Mr. Dutch? <laughs> Twitch delay is lower than YouTube. Okay. delay doesn't really matter right since you're watching on on one of the <laughs> platforms i hope <laughs> yeah mr fat touch You should make an alternative account called NTFS German. <laughs> You're a great stereo now. <laughs> nice. Must be a dream come true hearing me in stereo. Hey, rifle cookie. Good morning, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Alright. I think I need s at least some light variation on the low poly as well. So what I will do is get the outer edge get the 
gather it here and drag this down. And now um, I'm going to basically shrink wrap that to the to the high poly spot. <laughs> you probably get asked this all the time, but what are you making? Um, I'm currently working on a uh, 2D model uh, based on concept art. Let me let me find the drawing. Um, So it's, it's based on this uh, piece of concept art and I sculpted this 2D model in ZBrush first and textured it, so I draw all the images on top of it uh, on, uh, in Substance Painter. So this is the 3D model of the totem itself and now I'm working on a little, yeah, little patch of ground to put the totem on. Let me let me start with ZBrush so you can see the sculpt. It's not the fastest. Alright, so this is ZBrush where I sculpt my stuff in. Um, So this is the uh, the patch of ground, the sculpt, the sculpt of it. Um, is there subtool master? There we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is the 3D skull. Um, so first the patch of ground and after that the grass. It needs a low poly version because with 11.7 million triangles it is way too high poly to put in the game. So I'm making a a low poly version now with only a few polygons. Um, all right, uh, let's let's connect this. Is this what game designers do? Uh, not really. Game designers are more like implementing and testing game features. So this is more what game artists are doing. Um, Alright. So let's call this totem more low. <laughs> Thanks. 
you always should have more respect for the artists. <laughs> but you need to have the most respect for the programmers. So what I'm doing now is uh, a little bit abstract, if you don't know what's going on. So the thing is, I created this low poly um, mesh and I'm aligning it with the high poly sculpt. So I will transfer all the the sculpted details onto the surface of the of the low poly game model. <laughs> you know, I don't think it's really hard. Not if you know what you're doing. And if you know what you want. This corner might cause some issues. Big later. Where's the music? Here we go. Hey, Nintenshi. <laughs> What's up, man? What's the new item on the menu? Um, it's this uh, patch of ground I'm working on. So this piece. But um, the low poly part. So last stream I created these tiles and grass patches. I'm now working on the low poly version. So I hope to combine this with um, uh, with with other piece uh, today. And yeah, maybe do a uh, do some texturing on it as well. Not sure if I want to start texturing first and do the grass later, or just go ahead and start texturing this <clears throat> before doing the, the grass. 
Or maybe at the same time as the grass. There, I guess. I'm not really sure what to tackle first myself. Relatively green, three meter center. Um, hmm. I think it's good to. Yeah, I, I don't know what your, what your skill level is at the moment. I really like the idea of just first creating cool stuff in Seabrush, in, uh, for example, and learn the more technical stuff later. Because technical stuff is easy to learn, but to make stuff pretty is just requires a lot of practice. Alright. Uh, my skill level is it took me like eight hours to make a treasure because I couldn't decide what handles to make. Yeah, that, that kind of stuff. That's something you can you can work on right now, right? That's more design practice, so decide what you want to create first. And worry about uh the technical part later. Um, all right. Ah, oh, yeah. I didn't. I never used AutoCAD. Always 3ds Max and ZBrush for me. Very rigid, yeah. It's more an architectural thing, right? Okay, let's let's test something first. So let's give this. Uh, no, no. Let's save first. Good God. And then I will add a, uh, a simple UV and see if the pipeline is working between 3ds Max, ZBrush and Substance. Here. There we go, this will do. Um. 
I'm actually more interested in messing around with Lethal League sprites and graphic scale. <laughs> yeah, graphic scale is cool. <laughs> and it's free now. Um... little bit scared I'm not sure if this is going to work but it's really low poly compared to the compared to the totem by the way uh, anyway uh, yes let's give this one poly group and export this Two. No, no, not to a PS Vita. Does it really need to be that low poly? No, not really. <laughs> I can even make it more low poly. No, but it's just... Um, it is a test, but I might also just leave it on this, um, this amount of polygons. If the bake is good. Okay, let's... Um, come on. Total All right. There it is. Okay, that's good. And we have a separate layer here for uh, the floor. That's great. Um, technically, just make it a rectangular prism. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got uh, textures. You didn't see them yet. All right. Um, it's a brush. <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, I really hate this thing of manually hiding all the other assets. Oh well, there are worse things in life. I'm <laughs> really regretting saying it looked like DDD now. <laughs> Still looks a little bit like him, right? At me, Ma. Hold shift. Really? 
And then? Like... I'm holding shit. Well, I, I can select multiple layers, right? No. And holding shift by... <laughs> I don't get it. Sorry, at me mod. I'm sorry to disappoint you. What do you want to do? I just want to hide multiple layers at the same time. <laughs> you know, I, I've got this uh, subtle master I can show or hide all, but I don't want to hide them all. There should be a way to do it. Select the sub you want to keep and just close it. Yeah, but I want to keep multiple sub -tools. So you want to keep all of these. I think you just click the eyeball then click on... Oh well, it's good like this. And also, add me mod that that was only working with um, the previous version of ZBrush. They changed the way uh, hiding and revealing works. Okay, so I've selected this tile now, and when I click this eye. See, other stuff doesn't hide anymore. Um, export skill 100 and I... Yeah, I need to... Uncheck all the groups. Alright, are you using R8? Yes, I am. Now we will go to exports. Um. This music is Space Harrier, yeah. <laughs> Apex is right. Um.
but not what I want. It's a uh, rename of visible tools. Where is mix tools? Batch rename. All right, that works. Now let's export again. didn't really see what happened, but I just exported these high poly versions. So now if we go to bake and uh, enter. Start with no anti aliasing to see if it, if it bakes at all. We don't need thickness for now. Um, all right, let's see what happens. Let's check if everything is set up correctly. The wait begins. It shouldn't take too long, I guess. Or maybe the first time because it's creating all these as bin files for substance. I can see that on the flat screen. <laughs> I should take them. Um, yeah, the breakfast was fine. Just some yogurt and cereal. It's fine. Baking failed. Baking failed. I know why it failed. It failed because. Well, this error is because there is no. Uh, no further scholars on it. And. This baker is looking for vertex color information. Um, and we can add it later. But as you can see, it is working. Oh, look at this. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. So this is the uh, this is the low poly. Okay, so you know this kind of stuff might be annoying because the the tile was a little bit tilted in this cup. Maybe I will add some geometry to it. And also, this is nasty. I need to add a few more edges here. But it's pretty cool. You need a few more edges here as well. 
Yeah, it is hard to tell, only if you know. So, stuff like this. Uh, it, yeah, it's stuff like this kind of corners. That tell you that it's not 3D. And here. <laughs> this is the magic of normals. So, this is just a straight edge. If you look at it like this, but if you look at it like this, <laughs> there's gap here. <laughs> that's the magic of normals. So that's something we need to fix. Um, but other than that, it's really good. And the pipeline is still working. All over workflow, pipeline, whatever. So what we can do now is just go back into 3ds Max. Um, hide the body. Always hide the body. Uh, hide. So it was. Uh, have you considered what kind of environment will be surrounding this bit of ground? No. Well, I somewhat kind of know because uh, it's supposed to be in some kind of temple environment. Um, if you Google Sanctum Pulse and Gigantic, you can see what kind of environment it is. It's a temple, green, yellowish environment with a lot of water. But I'm not going to add that kind of stuff here. No, sir. Um. Okay, cool. Okay, let's turn this into a horror curse. <laughs> like this. So now it's just the matter of adding some geometry where we want some extra geometry. And because this um, is tilted a little bit, I want to add I want to add a few more polygons. this and you need to go in the corner
Alright, this is fine. Add a triangle there. Uh, okay, so this that piece. Same happens here. Oh yeah, there's some quite some height difference here as well. Corner is probably, yeah, it's not working as well. Um, let's, let's first fix this area here. Um, no, Right, that's better. So we need to redo that new piece a little bit. That's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Collapse. Right. Um, mm -hmm. More nasty corners here. Let's check this here. Ah, it's okay. This one is nasty. Uh, that's here. Okay, should be better. Uh, 
That's fine. Do I want to have a height variation on this tile? I'm not sure. I don't think so actually. Oh, hello. Fine. Okay, yeah, um... Okay, so I've added a little bit of geometry here for this uh, for this stone sticking out. I think that's a good addition. Okay.
Yeah, I think so as well. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, it is. The magic of normals. Okay, I think this is already a big improvement. Um, here you can do about the inside corners on the bottoms without any more polygons. Yeah, true. Well, I don't mind adding a few more polygons though, since it's pretty low. Go. Okay, let's wait. Well, everything. Um, uh, this one. Show it again. <laughs> How long did it take you to make that? The amount of polygons on the original graph is actually the same. Yes, it is. Um, I'll learn one stream, so that's about two hours. Uh, you mean this piece, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. A little less than two hours, I think. It's very basic. Um, no, don't, don't. I don't want this circle of death. Alright, let's check the unwrap. There is something wrong. Um Now, uh, what's happening here? Whatever. What is it's not inside? Come on, Max. Sorry. <laughs> Final Fantasy triggered me. for this oh no 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 don't forget the other pieces or it will break substance Okay, before we bake, let's add some poly paint here so it won't um, so the ah the baking won't fail. Come on, English. Mm. Uh, RGB. Let's make this stream will be on your channel and in normal speed <laughs> Michal or Michael um, I think I, I don't know actually this is the first time I'm streaming to YouTube as well I'm not sure if uh, YouTube saves all the streams I think it will I think it will Um, all right, let's remove the lower acid and 
export it again because I've added the polypaint for the vertex colors. Total floor is okay. Totem underscore. Here we go. Now it shouldn't give any baking errors anymore in uh, substance. completed. Alright. Thing. again first to see if it's working Yeah, much better. Also, these kind of areas, mmm, lovely. Much better. <coughs> Sorry. The only thing. Color map still is giving an error. Is it not exporting the vertex colors? Sure. 
see the color map for um, the totem itself work. Okay. Yeah, I can make a color map based on the on the groups, I guess. But I think it works for now, but... Material color maybe? No, I think it's... It should be vertex color. color from the high definition meshes. Why don't you read the vertex colors? Alright man. <laughs> yeah. Ah, now it's working. There we go. Not sure why it didn't work before. I didn't change anything. <laughs> yeah, thanks for joining me at uh, Adventure. Always good to have you around. Have a good night. Um <laughs> yeah, as soon you're gonna leave, it, it works. Uh, let's... No, don't worry. Don't worry. I will hit the bake button with subsampling 4x4. Four four. So, my apologies if the stream is lagging. Yeah, I know, I know it's a bug, but it's a bug when you don't have any vertex colors on your uh, on your mesh it should work when you do have vertex colors on there but yeah now it's working yes you can see down here uh, the color map it's the purple and the yellow i assigned in zbrush Should be better now. Um, mm, look, a look at that crispiness. Mm. Of cell shades. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good actually. Maybe I don't need any textures. Um, I forgot that I do need thickness here. So let's make 
thickness only. I need the thickness for, um, I guess, some, some moss details. <laughs> I have to see this through now. Or oh, you don't, you won't see any thing with the thickness map. I'm only going to use the thickness map for other stuff. Time I get some new water. Be right back. So I can understand where trying to convince me that sticking around makes no difference. <laughs> no, yeah, it was about the thickness map. You won't see any difference in the model, I guess, now. Um, Is at a oh basically two materials one for the grass let's call this grass uh, one for the tiles. Grass. Let's just add Obviously. 
not sure about it. Okay, let's throw it in the grass folder space. And now we can mask this by this color. Now we don't need to hide information here. Uh, and the same for the tiles. <laughs> Collins. Collins. have joined your dungeon. New creatures. Illimani. Welcome. Thanks for the follow. Color should be more neutral. Also, we don't really want that much roughness. Okay, let's see. Um, core Gazer. Thanks, man. <laughs> nah, it's just a matter of practice. I'm not using it for so long yet. So there's still some stupid mistakes. I make 
it's a fo fun program, so and when something is fun, it's easier to learn it, right? Um, so, for example, now... I want to create some, uh, some variation. Okay, now I need to add a black mask and add a generate with a black mask and do a. There we go. There we go. Instant pretty. I've no idea how to use a masking tool like you just did. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's pretty easy. Um, do you know about vertex colors or anything like that? You can, here in Bake, you can uh, bake an ID map. So in this case, my ID map is based on vertex colors. So in ZBrush, I assigned the color purple to my stones, the tiles, and uh, yellowish for the for the grass patch. Um, so that vertex color information is exported to the high poly, uh, and I bake that to an ID map here in the ID baker. Uh, and then you will get a color map like this here, based on the colors from ZBrush. And then it's just a matter of adding uh, uh, color or anything and add a mask with a color selection. And then you can just pick, pick the color you want. That's pretty easy. Uh, do you have to change any settings in Sievers to export that or is it exported with OBJ? Um, I think the poly, poly painting is exported by default. Uh, just make sure the texture is on, I guess. I think so. Yeah, Nintenshi, thanks for uh, thanks for joining me, man. Have a good night, and I will talk to you later. Okay, so now we can work with the curvature, and I let's also add the end occlusion here. However, I don't want the edges; I want the cavities, so all the cavities have this. Greenish color. Let me change the color here. Oh, wow. What is that? Ah, yeah, make sure to, to uncheck the group in the export window. That's this one. Yeah, it's it will actually mess up the naming conventions, right? If you are interested, I wrote a little script to turn off all the groups for every subtool because if you have a lot of subtools, like me, 
I don't want to get into the subtools individually and uncheck everything by hand. That's that's fucking annoying because every time you start up supers again, the group button is switched on again. Um, yeah. So I, I did this uh, group unchecker script. <laughs> Very easy thing. Hey, well. I think I can make that uh, make that public later. If you're interested in that. Let me write that down. Um, core gazer, do you have <coughs> uh, Discord? So uh, I can just share the share the script in my Discord channel. This command is working in this new restream thing. I think it is in, on Twitch, <laughs> but for the YouTube viewers, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I guess. Let's see. Yeah, <laughs> it doesn't make any sense in, uh, in YouTube, but well, whatever. Um, this is awesome. probably going to make a folder out of that as well. Um, highlights. Hey, Steven. How are you doing, man? Long time no see. <laughs> That's good to hear. Just finished an artist in two days while dealing with a number of different programs dying on me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh god. Or oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, okay. What was the art test format?
Can't tell apparently. But it's for a Unreal 4 small studio in the track with a platformer. Okay. That's cool. Well, I hope you get hired, man. You deserve it. A shitty part was that included assignment paper. Oh, okay. Three days. What you need to do it in two? Well, it's all test. <laughs> Me, what have you been up to? <laughs> no, we don't have any new internship. They start in September.
Yeah, I can. Oh, great. I might do that actually. Oh, what? yellow and then we will add more green to the generator uh and other than that uh, steve I'm, I'm okay i'm okay Okay, so let's let's duplicate this. Yes. Um, turn this one off. Thickness here, and the position gradient. Um, I don't want to blend that with the texture one. Uh, I'm guessing the grass is not going to stay this smart and green now. <laughs> no. It will be stylized though. I don't think I've seen maybe something that isn't stylized. <laughs> no. I don't think so as well. Uh, 
go for um Maybe it just I need a another. Something else instead of cells. Something else instead of cells. Ha. <laughs> um. Okay, but now... Yeah, the, uh, the effect is really cool, but I need to utilize it, because it's not perfect yet. So how can I make clouds more abstract? Um, by just adding levels Move down or in the cloud settings uh, I think the blur helped it a bit. 
Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, but I want. I don't want this, I want to blur these lines. So the cool part here, well, everything is the cool part, obviously. We can duplicate this, and we can do a random seed, and now we have a second pass. So that's really. The shapes are too small, I guess. New creatures have it's joined your Some cool uh, color variation, right? Vital time. Thanks for the follow. Okay, I don't like the highlights. Alright Steven, take care and good luck with the uh, with the art test.
Yeah, I like <laughs> I like it better without the highlights, actually. Uh, Yeah, I think this is better. Just subtle, a subtle highlight on the on the edges, and let the normals take care of the rest. Um, for reference purposes, I'm using this, by the way. So I'm going to need. A little bit more variation in the grass, I think. I also Small item. Too detailed. Yeah, okay, this is a, uh, a pretty good example of what I'm going for. Well, apart from the lighting, of course. So I think the 
thing I had before wasn't that bad at all. So um, we can make another duplicate here. This is actually pretty cool. So tempted to click on a random seek. Oh wait, I can I can save the seek. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Hey Leah. Good morning. Good evening. How are you doing? Okay, this is pretty cool.
Oh, thanks. I hope it's a bit better. Uh, I'm fine. really blends with the, the totem yet. Hey Manu. Folder, speckles, and twinkles. <laughs> and color. Um, where is it? Stains. Hmm. 
Oh, <laughs> actually, might work on the grass. <laughs> um. Just based on the thickness and let me see. Uh, what noise are you using to get the spots? That's uh, stains. Stains zero one. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Just add a mouse. Very subtle, but that's good. Um, mask that to my tiles. Let's see how this works. Um,
Good morning. Thank you. Uh, okay. Not sure if you can even see this on stream. Cool. Uh, yes, I'm going to leave here for today. Sorry, Anaya. <laughs> streaming tomorrow so the next stream will most likely be on Tuesday yeah I think it will one well, will be one of the last streams for this totem I think it's almost finished so I need to make uh, the low poly for the grass blades uh, and texture them Maybe some tweaks on the uh, on the stones here. Yeah, Leanne, it's your uh, your moment to start the stream. <laughs> Do it. I should be sleepy. No. <laughs> yeah, and you, Lindy, just wake up earlier. I have to be up for work in six hours. Only oh, an. <laughs> yeah, or go to bed, or skip work, <laughs> or, or start just three. Yeah, no problem. Uh, final time. Thanks for the. Thanks for the follow. -up. Uh, hmm. I'm just checking if there are some people streaming right now. <laughs> to raise your hair. It's a weight. It's gone.
Yeah, thanks, sir. Thanks, Pilo. Will most likely be Tuesday. Think so. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to host uh, here. Not sure what it's doing. Oh, he's only streaming for four more minutes. Oh well. Oh well. Um, I can't do that in my new restream thing, I guess. Oh, you can't believe it. It will grow back. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for joining me, guys. And I hope to see you uh, next week. Thanks for joining and... I'm repeating myself. Take care. Networking king is all. Um, I wouldn't say networking is all, but communicating. Uh, try to not lie. Like, hey, I'm an illustrator, and uh, if you want, I can draw something for you. It comes better as, hey, get your characters drawn. I am a pro, or I work for this and this client, and you make it up. If you're, if you're starting with private clients, uh, what I learned is uh, being human is the most. Uh,